Hi boys and girls, welcome back again. Today's drawing lesson, we're going to draw a landscape with perspective. So we're finished with the cartoons now, and we're gonna try some, uh, some more serious uh, artwork. So the first thing we're going to do, I've just got a piece of uh, A3 paper, and I'm going to divide it uh, into thirds. I'll just do, it doesn't matter exactly, so I'm just gonna do this freehand, but you could use a ruler, or you could fold it, and I'm using a pencil, and I'm just pressing very lightly to divide my page into three even strips, just like that. What happens there is these three strips, we have a foreground, so all the pictures, all the things that I'm going to draw in my landscape that are very close, things that I could walk to within about 30 seconds. So if I walk for 30 seconds, I might be able to touch it, not very far away. In the middle section, that's where we're going to draw, that's the middle ground, and they're things that might take me a about five minutes to walk to if I wanted to walk to them that's how far away and the top section is the is things that are very far away things that I would have to drive a few hours to get to or I might be even too far even to drive drive to and then that will give us our perspective so we'll know how um, we'll see how that looks when we get started all right so we start in the foreground now I'm going to draw a scene I think with a some mountains in the background and a tree. I'm going to be, my, from my perspective, I think I'd like to be standing next to a tree. So I'm going to start in the foreground drawing a tree. And I'll do it off to the side so we can fit other things in the picture. And I'll just start drawing my tree like this. With a few branches. And you can draw your tree. There's lots of different ways to draw trees. You can draw a tree however you like. There you go, I've just drawn a tree, and you can see that my tree, the base of my tree, was started in the foreground, and that's the tree there. I might also draw maybe some grass at the, the base of the tree, maybe some grass over here, and some flowers, just to make that look nice. So I've drawn my tree and my grass in the bottom section of my landscape. The next thing I'm going to start to draw now is the middle ground. And these are things, remember I said they might take me five minutes to walk to. So I'm going to draw in my middle ground a <clears throat> little cabin, I think, that'll be off in the distance a bit. So I'll just draw a cabin, my cabin like this. Now I'm just drawing this very rough freehand, boys and girls. You might take a bit more time to draw yours and make it much neater. Mine's going to be a bit rushed because they're trying to do it for the cameras. Get it done quickly. a little bit of a five minute walk away next to the cabin and maybe I'll even draw a, <clears throat> a car park next to it. And that's in the in the middle ground. And then off on, in the last section, the bit that's at the top, I'm going to draw uh, anything that's in my picture that's very far away. So in this case, I think I'll draw just some mountains. A bit of a mountain range across the back. 
and that's pretty easy. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is just rub out. Now I'm just gonna rub out these lines that I, the three lines that I originally drew because they're not really part of my picture. So I can get rid of them pretty easily. That's why we're using a pencil. <clears throat> Instead of drawing those lines, some of you might like to just fold your paper instead. So you don't have to bother rubbing them out, but I find rubbing out not too bad. And there we go, I have a landscape with perspective. I can see that the tree is close up, the cabin's a little way away, it might take me a few minutes to walk there, and the mountains are off into the distance. Now when it comes time to, I'm not going to colour it in now, but when it comes time to colour it in later, make sure all the things in the foreground here are coloured the darkest and the deepest colours and pre if you're using pencil press nice and hard so the colours come out nice and dark then have a sort of medium um, darkness in the, the medium light in the middle and the things in the at the back the things that are the furthest away they should be the lightest so you press very lightly when you colour those and that will give your picture lots of depth I might just add on my picture in the background the sun and a couple of clouds in the sky. And if I go over my tree, nice and dark, and if I was taking time to colour this in, you would see that when things in the, that are close up, if you make them the darkest, that's what will give you the perspective. So you press nice and hard with your pencil. And there you go, boys and girls. That's a landscape. Easy.